let's moving into the covid guidelines code only confirmed cases code only confirmed diagnosis of 2019 novel corona virus disease that is covid 19 as documented by the provider or documentation of the positive covid 19 test result for a confirmed diagnosis assign the code u07.1 that is covid 19 in the context confirmation does not require the documentation of positive test result of covid 19 the provided documentation that the individual has covid 19 is sufficient let's look an example 32 years male patient has been diagnosed with covid 19 positive Here the provider is saying that patient has been diagnosed with COVID-19. According to our coding guidelines, COVID-19 positive statement from the provider is enough to code COVID-19. Hence our sequence would be like this: U07.1. U07.1 means COVID-19. If the provider is documented as suspected, possible, probable, or inconclusive COVID-19, do not code U07.1. Code only the signs and symptoms reported. Let's moving into the sequencing of codes. When COVID-19 meets the definition of principal diagnosis, code U07.1 should be sequenced first, followed by the appropriate code for the manifestations. Let's take a look about the acute respiratory manifestations of COVID-19. When the reason for the encounter is a respiratory manifestation of COVID-19, assign code U07.1 as primary diagnosis and assign the code for respiratory manifestations as additional diagnosis. The following conditions are examples of common respiratory manifestations of COVID-19. Those are pneumonia acute bronchitis lri ards and the last one is arf that is acute respiratory failure first of all let's go through the pneumonia if pneumonia is confirmed due to covid 19 assign code u07.1 as primary diagnosis and j12.89 that is other viral pneumonia as secondary diagnosis let's look an example a 45 years female patient is diagnosed with other viral pneumonia due to covid 19 Here the patient got pneumonia due to COVID-19 virus hence we should give COVID-19 code as primary diagnosis followed by the other viral pneumonia code hence the sequence would be like this U07.1 and J12.89 U07.1 could be the code for COVID-19 and J12.89 would be the code for other viral pneumonia let's moving into the acute bronchitis if a patient has been diagnosed with acute bronchitis due to covid-19 assign code u07.1 as primary diagnosis followed by the code j20.8 that is acute bronchitis due to other specified organisms if a patient is diagnosed with bronchitis not otherwise specified that is nos due to covid-19 should be coded using u07.1 as primary diagnosis and j40 that is bronchitis not otherwise specified as secondary diagnosis let's look an example 35 years female patient has been diagnosed with bronchitis due to covid-19 here the patient developed bronchitis due to covid-19 hence we should code covid-19 as primary diagnosis followed by the bronchitis code and the sequence would be like this u07.1 and j40 u07.1 could be the code for covid-19 and the next one is j40 that is bronchitis not specified as acute or chronic let's moving into the lower respiratory infection that is lri if the covid-19 is documented as being associated with a lower respiratory infection not otherwise specified or acute respiratory infection not otherwise specified code u07.1 coded as primary diagnosis followed by the code j22 that is unspecified acute lower respiratory infection If the COVID-19 is documented as being associated with respiratory infection not otherwise specified, codes U07.1 and J98.8 that is other specified respiratory disorders should be assigned. Let's look an example. 34 years male patient has been diagnosed with acute lower respiratory infection due to COVID-19. Here the patient got acute lower respiratory infection due to COVID-19. Hence we should code COVID-19 as primary diagnosis followed by the acute respiratory infection code. Hence the sequence would be like this U07.1 and J22 U07.1 could be the code for COVID-19 and J22 could be the code for unspecified acute lower respiratory infection Let's moving into the acute respiratory distress syndrome For acute respiratory distress syndrome due to COVID-19 assign codes U07.1 and J80 acute respiratory distress syndrome Let's look an example 26 years male patient develops ARDS due to COVID-19 Here patient develops ARDS due to COVID-19 hence we should code COVID-19 as primary diagnosis followed by the code acute respiratory distress syndrome hence the sequence would be like this U07.1 and J80 U07.1 could be the code for COVID-19 and J80 could be the code for acute respiratory distress syndrome let's moving into the acute respiratory failure For acute respiratory failure due to COVID-19 assign code U07.1 and code J96.0 that is acute respiratory failure. Let's look an example. 
A 65 years female patient developed acute respiratory failure due to COVID-19. Here the patient developed acute respiratory failure due to COVID-19. Hence we should quote COVID-19 as primary diagnosis followed by the acute respiratory failure code. Hence the sequence would be like this. U07.1 and J96.00. U07.1 could be COVID-19 and J96.00 could be acute respiratory failure unspecified whether with hypoxia or hypercapnia. Let's moving into the non-respiratory manifestations of COVID-19. When the reason for the encounter is a non-respiratory manifestation of COVID-19, assign code U07.1 COVID-19 as primary diagnosis followed by additional codes for the manifestations. Let's look an example. 32 years male patient develops viral enteritis due to COVID-19. Here the patient got viral enteritis due to COVID-19. Hence we should code COVID-19 code as primary diagnosis followed by the manifestation code. Hence the sequence would be like this. U07.1 and A08.4. U07.1 could be the code for COVID-19 and A08.4 could be the code for viral enteritis not otherwise specified. Let's moving into the exposure to COVID-19. For asymptomatic individuals with actual or suspected exposure to COVID-19, assign code Z2828 that is contact with and suspected exposure to other viral communicable diseases. For symptomatic individuals with actual or suspected exposure to COVID-19 and the infection has been ruled out or test results are inconclusive or unknown, assign code Z2828 that is contact and suspected exposure to other viral communicable diseases as well. Let's look an example. Patient was exposed to a COVID-19 by a family member. Patient is asymptomatic and his test result is negative. Here the patient was not affected by the COVID-19 but the family member is suffering with COVID-19 and the patient got exposed with them but his COVID test results are negative. In this case we have to append Z20.828 code for the exposure to COVID-19. Hence the sequence would be like this Z20.828. Z20.828 the code will be contact and suspected exposure to other viral communicable diseases. Let's take a look about the screening for COVID-19. During the COVID-19 pandemic, a screening code is generally not appropriate. For encounters for COVID-19 testing including pre-operative testing, code as exposure to COVID-19. Coding guidance will be updated as a new information concerning any changes in the pandemic status becomes available. Let's look about the signs and symptoms without definitive diagnosis of COVID-19. For patients presenting with signs and symptoms associated with COVID-19 such as fever, etc., but a definitive diagnosis has not been established, assign the appropriate code for the signs and symptoms such as cough, shortness of breath and fever. If a patient with signs and symptoms associated with COVID-19 and also have actual or suspected contact with our exposure to COVID-19, assign code Z2828 contact with and suspected exposure to other viral communicable diseases as an additional code. Let's look an example. 35 years male patient has fever, cough and shortness of breath and the patient brother recently diagnosed with COVID-19 and the patient has suspected exposure to COVID-19. Here the patient has several symptoms along with suspected exposure to COVID-19. We should code all the related symptoms as primary diagnosis followed by the exposure code to COVID-19. Hence the sequence would be like this R06.02, R05, R50.9 and the last one Z20.828. R06.02 would be the shortness of breath and R05 for cough and R50.9 for fever and the last code is Z20.828 contact with and suspected exposure to other viral communicable diseases. Asymptomatic individuals who test positive for COVID-19 For asymptomatic individuals who test positive for the COVID-19 although the individual is asymptomatic the individual has tested positive and considered to have a COVID-19 infection. Let's take a look about the personal history of COVID-19. For a patient with history of COVID-19, assign a code Z86.19 that is personal history of other infectious and parasitic diseases. Let's take a look about the follow-up visit after COVID-19 infection has resolved. For individuals who previously had COVID-19 and are being seen for follow-up evaluation and COVID-19 results are negative, assign the code Z09 that is encounter for follow-up examination after completed treatment for conditions other than neoplasm and Z86.19 that is personal history of other infectious and parasitic diseases. Let's moving into the encounters for antibody testing. For encounter for antibody testing that is not being performed to confirm a current COVID-19 infection nor is a follow-up test for resolution of COVID-19 assign Z01.84 that is encounter for antibody response examination. Follow the applicable guidelines if the above individual is being tested to confirm a current COVID-19 infection. And that's it from the COVID-19 guidelines.